Hello and welcome to another episode in the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. In this episode, we will be discussing scopes. Now, a scope is a region of a computer program where name binding is valid. Name bindings are an association of a name to an entity such as a variable. Now, scopes can vary in range from small loops to as much as an entire application. There are many different levels of scopes. However, as a programmer, you will benefit from understanding at least these four levels of scopes in the list. They are global scopes, class scopes, function scopes, and code block scopes. Now a global scope is a class variable value or function that can be used anywhere in the entire program. An example would be the node class, which is globally accessible. Now your class scope is basically variables, values, or functions that can only be accessed from within the file. In this case, your file would be the .gd file since you're programming in GDScript. Now, the function scope is basically a variable value that is only visible inside the function that it is declared in. These would include parameters and variable declarations. Lastly, you have your code block scope, and that is a variable value that is only visible inside code blocks. These would be variables declared in your if statements and your while loops, and of course the variables that come prepackaged, for example, in your match statements and your for loops. Now let's take a look at scope hierarchy. Now, scopes do have hierarchies. As you notice at the top, the global scope is the highest level in the scope hierarchy. As we move down, file module class scope is second highest. Our functions are beneath class scopes and our code block scope is at the bottom. Now, notice how we have arrows pointing from each scope. What this means is that our variable can propagate down to the scopes beneath them. However, variables declared at scopes at the bottom of the hierarchy do not propagate up. This basically means that when you declare a variable from a hierarchy beneath the current level, you are not able to access those variables. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. We'll start with the global scope. The global scope declares the variable A and the variable A can propagate down. The variable A can be used in your classes your variable A can be used in the functions in your classes, and the variable A can be used in your code block, such as a for or while loop. However, let's take a look at the file module. The variable B in our file module will not propagate up. There's no arrow pointing up. This means that our global scope does not have access to variable B, or as a matter of fact, anything declared in our file module, and of course, everything beneath it. Now, looking at the file module class, we've created the variable B, and in our file module, we have access to everything in the global scope, including the variable A. So while in file module, we have access to variable A and B, we do not have access to variables C and D. As we move down, you'll notice our access to variables expand or grow. Our function scope has a variable C and we have access to variables B and A. However, we do not have access to variable D because the code block, in this case, perhaps a while or for loop, although it declares a variable D, it does not propagate that variable back up the scope hierarchy. So our function doesn't see anything inside the code block. Now, lastly, we have our code block and it's declared a variable D. And as you'll notice, we have access to variables C, B, and A. However, everything in the scope hierarchy that is above our code block does not have access to variable D. So at the top, we're basically blind to all variable declarations at scope levels beneath the global. And at the bottom, we have access to all variables declared in scope levels above our current hierarchy, or in this case, the bottom hierarchy. It's a little confusing at first. One way to make it easier when working with the scope level hierarchy is that the higher in the scope hierarchy chain you declare your variable, the more or readily accessible that variable slash function slash class is. Whereas variables towards the bottom of the scope level hierarchy are less accessible. This is intentional in programming as when you declare a variable in, for example, a while loop, thus the code block scope, most likely your intention is to use that variable just for the while loop. Same thing with your function. If you declare a variable in your function, it's most likely that your intention is to use that variable only in the function that you've declared it in. Same thing with the class. And lastly, if you're putting something in the global scope, it's because you want that variable function or class to be accessible everywhere in your program. Now let's go ahead and look at some code. Now here we have a class. We've declared a member variable 
and this member variable would be in the class scope hierarchy level. What that basically means is that this class variable name, or rather this member variable name declared in our class level can be called in our functions and even our for loop. You can see up here our function calls the class scope and it calls it down here. Let's take a look at the function scope. Now, as you can see here in the function scope, I've called this function scope. I've declared a variable called function scope and it's got a string. Now, this function scope can be called inside our function, of course, and we've called it here in the print statement. And we've put it down here in the for loop. So you can see our variable can be declared here and in a hierarchy beneath us. And of course, our class scope variable can be called in our functions and for loop as well. However, if I were to take this function scope and say type it outside, notice how it will, or rather, if you were to type this in the GDScript compiler, it will throw an error. Now, the reason why this throws an error is because our function ready only has access to variables declared in our current function, plus variables declared in scopes higher than our function, in this case, our class variable. I'm gonna delete that. Moving on to the for loop, our for loop has a variable i, and our i is accessible in our code block, our code block scope. Now we also have access again to the variables declared in our current function, and our variables declared at the class level or our member variables. However, the variable i cannot be declared in scope levels higher than our current scope level. In this case, if I were to print i out or even just use i, this would throw an error. It would give you an unknown variable name error. So again, to reiterate, scopes at the top of the hierarchy do not have access to variables declared in scopes beneath them, and scopes at the bottom of the hierarchy have access to variables declared in scopes above them. Well, that's all I have for this episode. Don't forget to download the GitHub file to play around with scopes and how accessing variables work. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope to see you in the next.